Another national census is happening today, not of everyone, but of the homeless. As Chris Morrison reports, helping the homeless depends on knowing how many there are and what they need. Uh, where did you live last night? Where we stayed last night isn't a big deal for most of us, but if you're homeless, homeless it can define your life. Today's the semi-annual Point in Time Survey Day, a chance to get a snapshot of the nation's homeless population. Are you single, married? Workers single. fanned out Wednesday to survey the area's homeless, and several agencies talked with people in their facilities. It really is that opportunity to find out who's out there, who's in services, who's not, what they need, uh, and why they're homeless. Knowing the needs of the homeless population is important important to agencies like the Kansas City Community Kitchen. They moved from 13th and Broadway to 8th and Paseo last fall. Getting closer to the people they serve was a major factor in deciding to move. Since then, they've gone from serving 300 lunches a day to 500. Really lets me know that, you know, hey, I'm on the right track. You know, I'm doing the best that I can do to serve my fellow man. The results can be surprising. The number of homeless in the inner core is up, but it's also higher in Johnson County and other suburbs. The surveys helped Restart realize they needed to do more to serve homeless youth and families. We know that that's been an undercounted population, uh, and we anticipate and look forward to the fact that we're going to be able to get a more accurate count. In these agencies' efforts to get people out of homelessness, what they learned today will make a big difference. Chris Morrison, NBC Action News. Well, a major goal of today's point-in-time survey is to identify homeless veterans. The survey will be done again in July.